Kansas town hit by a cyber attack over the weekend now working to get its water treatment plant back online. Our Kansas City's plant now running on manual systems, but its water is still safe. 12 News reporter Kale Chapman talked with the cybersecurity expert about how the attack highlights a larger national trend. Our Kansas City says water treatment plant staff knew there was a problem first thing Sunday morning when one of their computers stopped working. The employee could tell that it wasn't just a malfunction, that it was definitely, it was, I think, a request to um, send an email to this address if you, you know, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, it was definitely not a malfunction. The city says there are still many questions they are investigating with the help of a representative from Homeland Security. We're not even for sure who the um, individual or entity was that created this event, what happened, where it happened. Um, and if we're safe to move on. According to data from Checkpoint Research, the U.S. saw a 70% increase in cyber attacks on utilities through August compared to last year. Internet security expert Bill Ramsey says there's a reason utilities and government organizations are becoming more appealing to hackers. They do have some money and there's some very sensitive information, but they probably feel like it's, it's a high target because they can interfere with the operations of a water treatment plant and cause enough headache that they'll get the money out of it. And oftentimes the hackers won't let go of a system until the owner pays up. Fees go from a few thousand dollars to a couple million dollars. It just depends. Um, and they don't always give you your data back uh, at that point in time. And sometimes they'll say, you know, you paid pretty quick. That means you can pay us again. In Wichita, Kill Chapman, 12 News. Our Kansas City says they do not know how much money this attack will cost them just yet, but they do say they have insurance for situations like this.